Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another color combos with Crystal and today's we are doing a DIY background of splattered ink. We are using the Words of Hope. This is a brand new stamp set from Unity Stamp Company and I'm going to try to show it to you. There we go. And I have already stamped this on Nina cardstock. This is not watercolor cardstock. Stamped it watercolored using some zig clean color markers and then for the sentiment i'm using the grow in gray stamp set and we are using the how are you just kind of keeping it nice and simple then i thought i would pair that diy background with a die from studio cadia and i just like using background dies use whatever you like but we're going to keep it nice and clean and simple and we're going to do all this using the berry burst from stamping up these are some older inks but use whatever you like and this is just a nice uh pink purpley color this is water based so what it's going to allow me to do is to watercolor with it so as you can see i'm going to add the water and i kind of did my own diy palette here using a piece of cardstock and i used some uh wrapping some just white wrapper and put the water on it and it's going to serve to put on our watercolor and then you can totally just clean it off with a baby wipe and reuse it again so i am splattering 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 and doing this with that same color but as you can see i have different variations of color and sizes and all that is is different water so what i mean by that is adding a lot of water will create a lighter color right so i'm doing my darkest little splatters first and then moving on and doing my bigger splatters with more water then we're going to set that aside to dry i'm going to bring in that die cut that i had mentioned earlier and these are called these are called cover dies and if you don't have any cover dies you don't necessarily have to put this on top i just thought it would be a nice little addition but you already kind of did your diy splatter background using ink so loving this technique because you can use the same ink color to do your watercolor splatters you ended up ink blending with that color and then you stamp your sentiment with that color so it all fits in really really nicely and you're not having to use a ton of materials so i'm going to do that second layer and i'm going to do that little corner and i'm going to do one layer of light color kind of feathering in to the center of the card and then last but not least i'm going to add more of that color right on the corner to really accentuate that ombre look and be sure you're using this on a surface that you can clean up i'm using a, a clear rubber mat over my white and so it makes it really really easy to clean up and if you don't have a rubber mat you can totally use just a piece of white paper so i'm going to add a little bit more and this is such a delicate cut that i had to take a little more time with it try not to tear it and that's why you see kind of me dabbing on it so i don't really like pull that that cardstock apart we're going to grab the other little die cut from earlier and we're going to be using the uh grow and grace sentiment that says how are you and like i mentioned we are going to stamp using the same color and try to center it the best of your ability and for me that's kind of hard <laughs> and make sure you don't get any inky fingers on that and we are ready to assemble our card so i have some foam adhesive on the back of my cover die here i'm going to place it down over the dried diy splatter so make sure it is completely dry because if not um the glue wouldn't here and then you'll end up having actually you'll end up smearing the watercolor itself so i'm just trying to line it up and i figured out that my cover die was actually smaller than my background so i came in um kind of post postcard production and trim that edge so once i have my edge trimmed i'm going to go ahead and add the sentiment i have the how are you and i added a bit of foam adhesive on the back just to give that some dimension and raise it up we're going to place it trying to put it up on the corner corner center and then we're going to add that beautiful flower again this is a brand new release from unity and last but not least i'm going to be using some glittery uh, purple nouveau drops for our embellishments and i'm just going to add a little couple drops here and there and it doesn't need a lot because that splatter background it is very busy already and 
it just this just adds a little bit of sparkle and even clear sparkle would have worked really well but I wanted to tie in some of that purple color in the watercolor of the florals with this splatter background and guys that does it for me thank you so much for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial doing some diy background splatters using some of the newest unity stamps and some oldies of course and guys all the products are listed below down in the description and if you want to see a full tutorial i have it up on the unity stamp company blog so Thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, please, and click on the recommended video to see more.